Okay, today we are going to talk about posting ears. Um, we have a couple things that we use. Backer rod, 5 8 backer rod. You can get it at any Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, we have Elasticon, a roll of Elasticon. We have one inch waterproof tape. You may have to get that at your vet, I don't know. Uh, and we have two inch waterproof tape. Also we have popsicle sticks, any Hobby Lobby or anything like that. And we use Neopred. You don't have to use this, you can use any type of powder. Um, that's just a antibacterial powder. Um, and then we prepare all the stuff here. Um, one inch tape, we cut into strips about, mm, I would say, three quarters longer than the ear itself. Uh, popsicle sticks, we will measure the ears and cut them to size. Um, Elasticon is going to go around the ears. This two inch tape is going to go around the foam and we will just show you how that uh, is all done here in just a second. Say hi James, we're making a production. She is taking the popsicle stick, putting it in the nodule, in the little ear there, and measuring to the tip. Since we know our ears are the same, we can just cut the popsicle sticks the same length if you measured one. This one inch tape is sticky side up. We're going to be putting the popsicle sticks attached to the sticky side. Can I have Duck to reception to go home? Duck Lynn Hoff to reception to go home. Apologize, we have some dogs going home. And now this is going to be sticky side to sticky side. So you're still going to have the sticky side up. Sandwiching the popsicle stick in between. Foam to cut it to size, just stick it in the hole. Now you got a two inch piece of foam. Take that tape, you're going to roll the foam, the tape on the foam, one complete rotation, and then you're going to go back the other direction, leaving the sticky side out. Make sure you have enough tape to go all the way back around. <laughs> Close enough. All right. Our precious little Doberman today. Who's this, Rose? Yes, Rose. Say hi, Rose. <laughs> All right. Powder is going to go in the ear, just a little bit in there in the ear, and a little bit on the crease of the ear where there's a little pocket made there. Like I said, any powder will do. <clears throat> All right, and we're going to take the tape, sticky side to the ear, trying to stretch the ear out to where it's straight along the popsicle stick and then folding that tape back over, massaging the tape to where it sticks. Take your foam, go in the bell of the ear and tape it and stick it to the tape. And you're gonna take your elasticon. Your elasticon is gonna start at the front of the ear or where that little crease is at. Lightly wrap around. You do not wanna do this too tight you don't want to do it too loose, but you also don't want to do it too tight because this stuff can constrict the ear. And you want to try and tape that elasticon to the top of where the foam is. Keeping that foam in the bell of the ear. She makes it look easy. It's really not easy. I'm 
I never get the length of the elasticon right, so. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after 18 years, I think you're getting it right. right. And the same thing with the other ear. Again, I don't know if you can see, there's like a little button in the ear there. It sticks out, that's where you want to put that popsicle stick just right on top of it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that one inch tape again, the waterproof tape, clean up our mess. <clears throat> and we're going to be making a bridge in between the two ears. So measure out the length of between the two ears, take the one inch tape, fold it in half, leaving the edges exposed to where you can tear them in half. Enough to wrap around the ear. Now you're going to, she starts in the back, following the back half of the ear there. You wanna align that tape around, crossing it over, bringing the ears together, but not too tight, not too loose, where they can use the ears. They can pull them, pull them up, let them down. Got one on the back, and we're going to do the same thing on the front. This allows for developing muscle control without letting the ears fall to the side. It also helps place the ears in the proper position. Very nice. All right. Just in case that's needed. I don't know. I'm nice job, everybody. Yeah. And that is how we post ears. <laughs>